welcome here sign people i want to say thank you for being here this is the full moon um for um the period of october so here sign people let's go in this so what we have here is the energy of the chariot so whatever is happening in transpire here sign people this is for um the aquarian gemini and libran um, this is the full moon. Um, please remember to go uh, check out your extended reading. Your extended reading will give you more information about um, what is coming up. So this is the Taurus Dale, but with the extended reading, you get to see um, per zodiac sign your 12 houses. Okay, so um, if you're a member of the channel, you will know um, this is already upload for you guys that you can go check out all your 12 ounces and it is all happening for um, each individual sign so i want to say thank you for being here this full moon of october seems to be releasing a lot of things i see truths i see secrets coming out um, but you are ending on a very positive note where the energy of the chariot, you're going to be victorious and successful over whatever is transpiring and happening. So as usual, um, what we are seeing here for the sun sign people, um, first we are going to be looking at this energy um, in a general energy. So what we see for the sun sign people is that the magician is in reverse. The Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. Um, some of you could be getting back some sort of a um, money from a project, a business that you were doing, some sort of a situation had transpired. And I see um, that uh, this money will be returned or will be paid out. I see some of you are going to be coming out of uh, the hole. So um, whatever the issue and the situation is, some of you, maybe you have some sort of a problem that is going to be coming up with your car in this full moon period, especially for the people who were born um, um, the um, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., the sun sign people. So be aware of that, okay? Then when we look at the moon sign people, we see the energy of... Uh, the world in the reverse. Then we have uh, the seven of cups in the reverse. Then we have a situation with the emperor. The emperor could be Arthur to figure your bosses, your father, someone who is trying to use the power over you. But this is coming up as if you have a, a person that is a fire sign. So if this person is a Aries Leo or a Sagittarian, um, this person could have played some sort of a power role over you. And I see you're standing up to this person, okay? So maybe this person was your boss, however, is coming up. It could have been your boss. Whoever this person is has created some sort of an issue in your world. And I see that you, um, air sign people, are going to be standing to injustice and equality to this person, Okay. So what we're seeing here is a very, very spectacular um, full moon that is going to be coming in. But you air sign people are going to be coming out of whatever the issue and the situation is in a very, very victorious way. So this is going to be really, really positive and really good. OK, so um, not to worry about this. So this reading is going to take um, some time um, because... We are first going to be looking at sun sign people. Um, as usual, we look at the general to see what is transpiring. Um, and I see a whole lot of the major arcana comes up in the four in the first week. If you see the magician is in reverse, the world is in reverse. So it comes up in the first week. Then we look at the energy of the Ace of Pentacles and the situation where the Ace of Pentacles has to do with the Seven of Cups opportunities. So a whole lot of you, a whole lot of businesses, a whole lot of uh, opportunities could be coming up for you air sign people. Then when we look at the Seven of Pentacles, your work, I see your bosses will be looking closely at your work and see what you're doing. 
I see I um, expect some sort of a um, positive accomplishment that is happening in transpire so um, be aware of this air sign I see a lot of you could be receiving some sort of a accomplishment of acknowledgement for the work that you are doing now um, some sort of a hardship is going to be coming up uh, for a fire sign person, whoever this fire sign person is and whatever this fire sign person have done. I see um, people in power is going to be coming down on this fire sign person. Who is she? What have she done? Is it your boss? Is it that this person have done you some sort of a form of injustice? Um, that is going to be coming up. So we are going to be seeing what this person have done to some of you. Work um, for the people who are looking work, the opportunity is going to be opening. A possibility is here. Business, um, that also. But as we look at your personal life and what is going to be coming up, I see that a whole lot of you, your focus is more on work. Your focus is more about bringing in um, work in your life, bringing in business in your life. Um, for the rest of you, you're focusing on clearing up things. Now, the first week, um, the full moon always have four weeks. And the first week, I see some sort of a letter is going to be coming in. So if some of you had applied for a job or was uh, um, waiting on a letter, this is going to be coming in. So some sort of a, um, a letter in, is going to be coming in, some sort of a documentation. Well, whatever documentation some of you were waiting for, it is definitely going to be coming in. So this is going to be good. So um, it is going to be um, um, positive. So um, if you had applied for a job or apply, you're going to be receiving some good news. So then we look at the energy of pleasure seeking. Now pleasure seeking is you can see um, the seven of cups in reverse. Um, the seven of cups is a form of pleasure seeking, emotional pleasure seeking. Okay. However, this is coming up. You got to be aware of what is happening and transpiring. Okay. Um, whenever the energy of pleasure seeking is that we go out of our way, um, to connect with others in order to create some sort of a, um, you know, happiness in our world, but yet still it could cost us. So be aware of that. I see some sadness. Uh, um, some sadness is going to be coming up um, and this could be affecting the men when it comes on to work. I see twice the energy of seven, seven of pentacles, seven of cups. So for businessmen, some sort of a sadness could be coming up for you businessmen. OK, so businessmen, be aware of this. There could be some sort of a problem, some sort of a sad sadness that is going to be coming up for you businessmen. So be aware of this. Then we see the energy of the five of pentacles and some of you could be dealing with an issue with your mom and um, whatever is happening and transpiring, there is some sort of a false eye that is being created and um, they're going to be finding out that a fire sign woman, whether this fire sign woman is, whatever is transpiring, is it your mother, is it a supervisor, is it someone at your work, is it a friend? is very false very very false okay whoever this person is is very false and i see you're going to be finding out this um in this week so if you were sick i see you're going to be overcoming um this okay um whatever that was happening and transpiring if you were sick definitely you're going to be overcoming this sickness okay so let's say that there was some sort of a problem um some sort of a situation that was plain you're definitely going to be overcoming this so you're going to be finding out um that um if someone could be plain as if uh, you know, things are not going good for them and that sort of a thing. You're going to be finding out that whoever this person is, uh, is very false. So a lot of you, um, you're going to be finding out that a fire sign person is uh, um, very, very false. Do you see the energy of false seat and this person is in the um, reverse? So be aware of this. So whoever parents or people that was sick, I see um, that you're going to be overcoming um, the sickness, whatever that was happening and transpiring, you're definitely going to be overcoming this. So um, let's um, go in the, the reading, um, fire signs, I'm sorry, air signs. Um, there is something with you and the fire signs, air signs, okay? So we're first, um, 
I'm going to be looking um, at what is happening and transpiring, okay? So um, what we always do is that we look at what is it that you're coming out with. So I see um, a lot of you are dealing with uh, the Knight of Pentacles. And this could be also that news is coming in about a new job. And this is going to be good. Whoever this Knight of Pentacles is, a lot of you um, are dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. Okay, whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring, you're definitely dealing with this person. How is this person coming up in your life and how is it going to be affecting you? Um, this news could be coming in from this person. This news could be something that you have been waiting for, okay? I see um, um, as you end this period, um, what is going to be transpiring and is affecting the moon assigned people is something to do with work, okay? So again, um, hold on tight. There is some sort of a situation that is going to be happening um, whoever is having problem at work, you're going to be overcoming um, this problem, whatever that was transpiring, definitely. And I see if you are looking for work, extra work, this is going to be coming in and this is going to be good. So be aware of this uh, and um, open up to the energies because I see wonderful positive energies is definitely going to be coming in. There is no question about this. Uh, this full moon for you ear sign people, um, go and look at your 12 houses because um, um, all of you have your own individual reading. So go and look at your own 12 houses. First, uh, let's look at the fire sign people. Who are the fire sign people? These are people who were born between the hours of uh, um, 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. So if you were born between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m., this energy is going to affect you, okay? So what we see here is that you are dealing with the Knight of Pentacles and some sort of a news is going to be coming in about this person and it is going to be some sort of a heartbreaks news, okay? Um, so whatever is happening and transpiring for you, Sun Sun people, if you are um, dealing with... Uh, um, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person um, between the ages of 18 and 45. This could be your child. This could be your partner. Um, this could be a friend. Some sort of a news is coming from this person. That is very heartbreaking. This person is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. The Three of Swords energy is here. And whatever the news is coming in for you, Sun Sign people, um, for this uh, um, uh, full moon, it is heartbreaking. Then we see the energy of the magician and the energy of the magician is going to be offering um, you sun sign people um, something. So whatever is happening, this is good. Whenever the, um, the energy of the magician is coming up with an offer. So some of you who were hoping for a new offer for a job opportunities, this is going to be happening for you. It is going to be coming up for you and it's going to be very, very powerful. So um, some sad people who were waiting for some sort of a news to come in about a job. It is going to be coming in and it's going to be positive. I see you, Sun Sand people, is going to be receiving an offer. The energy of a magician is going to be opening up doors of opportunities for you, air sign people, um, you air sign sun people, and it is going to be wonderful and positive. Um, it is going to be bringing you a positive alignment of energy, and this is going to be good. Then we see the energy of the Ten of Cups, and this is going to be very, very good. So whoever was having some sort of a financial situation, um, I see that the family is going to be connecting, and this is going to be good. So if you were having some sort of a financial issues, financial problems in the family, I see that this is going to be resolved. This is a really, really positive um, situation. I see family could be gathering together and I see whatever financial obstacles there was. I see a new start for a family. Um, this is going to be wonderful because um, something was transpiring um, that was affecting your um, the family members or, or affecting your family on a whole. And I see a new start is going to be coming in and some sort of a resolution is going to be here with family issues. This is a good positive note also if uh, 
you're looking at business this is going to be very very good especially when you're looking at business it's going to be a really um positive alignment of energy when it comes up to business and this is going to be good then when we look at the seven of pentacles the energy of the seven of pentacles some of you could be dealing with a boss i did say that or you could be dealing with a businessman whoever this businessman is this businessman could be coming out uh, is coming up as a taurus virgo or a capricorn i see some sadness for this businessman I see that they have realized how this businessman has uh, created some form of an issue for you guys. I see the truth is coming out about this businessman, how, how he does business and how he creates his wealth by, um, you know, treating his clients and uh, how he falsify information, documentation. So some of you, this man is a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn man. And this man is uh, oh, uh, 50 years and older. Whoever this man is, I see a whole lot of sadness is coming up for this man because they found out what this man have done and how this man have created some sort of a problems and issues and how this man does business and how this man created problems um, for other people and, um, you know, expose and and um, squeeze other people. So some of you, this could be your um, apartment manager. It could be your bank manager. It could be a man that you do some sort of a business with that they this man tried to um, squeeze you for everything that you have. OK, so here is it. If you notice, um, this Knight of Pentacles has something to do with money. OK, so some sort of a, um, invoices could be coming in to you and you're realizing that this man has um, uh, is extorting you of a whole lot of money. So here sign people be aware of this um, hair sign people. You could be dealing with this man. This man could be your partner, your husband, whoever this man is, is not very honest. And I see some of you, this man could be extorting a whole lot of you because the Knight of Pentacles with a letter and heartbreak is that some of you could be overcharged and this man has been overcharging um, a whole lot of you. So be aware of this. This is really, really powerful. Uh, so I see whatever that was happening and transpiring. This, um, as this lady, this lady is, um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. Um, this woman could be coming up uh, as a Capricorn is going to be showing up uh, whoever, um, this man is. So if you notice, it could be a husband and wife because it is a uh, coming up. Uh, as husband and wife, but whoever this person is, it could be a Taurus woman, a very false Taurus woman. You have to be aware of this, whoever this woman is. Um, I see that whoever this Taurus lady is, is, is also 50 years and older. And you have to be aware of this lady and who this lady is and how this lady is coming up and affecting your life because whoever this person is, is also false. So, so, um, some people, um, um, sunrising people, you're dealing with uh, um, a whole lot of uh, situation that is uh, coming up. And you, sun sign people, is dealing with a very, very, um, um, these earth sign people is coming up. And uh, whatever is happening and transpiring, I see um, some of you sun sign people could be helped by this lady to get out of some sort of a hardship, okay? So, if you notice, as a um, first, you had the five of uh, pentacles and um, the falseness, okay. And this lady is going to be coming up and standing up and releasing you, ear sign people, out of the falseness that you were in that was created by someone else. So it's as if uh, um, whatever has happened, whatever has transpired in your world. I see um, some sort of a problem, some sort of an issue that some of you ear sign um, um, people got caught up with uh, um, that, uh, um, you know, took you from one place to another. I see that uh, a lady, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn lady, 50 years and older, is going to be releasing you and get you out of some sort of a situation where 
people were basically um, bring you in a really horrible, distasteful place in your world. And this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn woman um, is going to be bringing you out. Whoever is dealing with this man as a boss, it could be a Virgo man, but it is coming up as a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. Whoever this person is and whatever this person tried to do to you, air sign people, know that you are going to be overcoming how this person have extorted you out of a lot of money. And you are going to be receiving some sort of a message from a young person, but it could be a family member. It could be um, a child, it could be a partner, but whatever the news is that is coming in is going to be very sad. And this is from a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. So be aware of this. Um, business, um, business is going to be good. If some of you work is going to be good, work is going to be coming in. So that is good. I see some sort of an offer is going to be coming, um, to some of you. So if you were married or have an, a relationship with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, I see that this person is going to be offering you something. And why this person wants to offer you something is because they have been caught doing something. So it could have been your husband, um, who got caught doing something. And I see either this person was pleasure seeking and got caught. Uh, um, at his, whatever he was doing. And I see, um, that if you're married to this person, this person is going to be asking for a new start. However, this is coming up. And, um, I see that some of you are going to be really, um, reconsidering and considering whether or not it is, uh, um, good to give this person a second chance. Okay. Cause I see this is coming up. A whole lot of you, if you have parents that is Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, you're going to be receiving some sort of a news about your father and some sort of a false plane. If your father have a business or is this a father or a family member, if this person have a business, um, you're going to be realizing and a whole lot of information is going to be coming out about this person, about um, something that this person has done and it is going to be showing up this person and I see that a whole lot of you are going to be pissed off if it's at your father. Um, if uh, you have a mother that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, this person is going to be helping you to get out of some sort of a situation that someone has brought you in and release you out of the situation. Because if you notice, the chariot is moving you forward. A lot of you are going to be finding out that uh, um, whatever that was transpiring and however you get in some sort of a problems or issue, um, a resolution is going to be here for you, um, sunrise in people. So be aware of this. Now, um, congratulations. We're moving on. Um, let's look at the moon sign people. We see a new start that is going to be coming up for work for you moon sign people. Some of you could be having, um, um, some sort of a situation, but a new start with business and work is going to be coming up. Um, there is some sort of a, a false pregnancy or some of you could have a miscramp. So be aware of this. But I see when it comes on to work, there is going to be some sort of a new start. Some of you is definitely going to be finding out that your boss or a supervisor, someone who you connect with that is an Aries or a Sagittarian person, um, was not being honest. Okay. So whoever this person is, you're going to be realized that you need to stay clear of this person because they're not honest. Whether it's a family member, um, it's coming up as you, the mother for some of you. So if your mother is a fire sign person, something that your mother is saying or doing is not, um, healthy or is not a healthy, um, decision that your mom or whatever decision your mom had made for you some in the past is not good some of you your mom could be sick and it has something to do with uh, um someone using negative energy so be aware of this so if your mom is sick be aware because it could be um some sort of an energy that is being focused or sent to her now another thing i want to say to you is that the energy that is coming up is that uh, I see you're going to be having some sort of a communication um, with this person. I see you're going to be letting this person know that, hey, um, 
I see what you're doing and I know who you are. I see you're going to be totally um, clearly communicating with this person. If in the beginning you thought that this person was a friend or, you know, this person was on your side, I think that some of you in this full moon realize that this is someone that you need to keep at arm's length because this is person is either very, very um, drama, a drama, this person is very drama. Um, this person um, goes and pretend and always, uh, oh, everything is drama. This person wants everything to be on their timeline and um, you should spring at them. And I see that some of you are going to be realized who this person is and how this person um, carry out their lives. And you're going to be realizing this is not the person that I want to be um, connected with or have a close within my proximity is as if you're going to be finding out um, that this fire sign person is not uh, really honest some sort of a dishonesty um, whether with their work or whether with what they do you're going to be always uh, also finding out if it's your mom is as if uh, your mom didn't speak the truth about something so whoever this fire sign person is i see you're going to get down to the bottom of something and you're going to be really finding out that this fire sign person is not really honest so be aware of this then i see um some sort of a situation some sort of a worries is going to be coming up um with some of you where there is some sort of a problem that is going to be transpiring and um a whole lot of worries especially and sadness some sort of a situation with your boss and a whole lot of worries and sadness now i see worries and sadness for um someone who has overused their power overgone overused their power i see that this person was caught so some of you could be really giving up your boss for something that this person have done where you realize that this person whoever this person is has really overgone their boundaries and have um you know cross a line by you are and you're standing up to this so it could be a father it could be someone who have used their powers over you this can be many in many different ways um what i'm receiving is that someone could have sexually arrested some of you uh, whether it's a family member or someone at your work but i see um some of you are either worried timid to be in the same place with this person and I see a whole lot of sadness and I think that you should go and report whatever has transpired because it is wrong someone has used their powers over some of you and you're being afraid and it's time that you go and um, seek help and let people know what this person have done okay so that they can't do it to another person I don't know that is coming up for someone out there that is trying to figure out you need to let people know how far they should go and you need to report the situation okay so I see um, a whole lot of you are dealing with some sort of an issue where people overcome their boundaries with you and I see that you are going to be you're sitting down there worried and you don't want to let anyone close to you and that sort of you and you need to go and, and tell what this person have done to you okay then I see a new start is going to be coming up, but whatever is happening and transpiring, I see a new start is going to be coming up. I see a lot of opportunities is going to be opening up. A lot of doors is going to be opening up for a whole lot of you air sign people. Um, and the doors that are opening up is going to be giving you a new start. Um, some sort of a positive, um, emotional situation is really going to be coming in for you, air sign people. And you're going to be, um, um, alert at what is transpiring in your world. You're going to be taking everything that comes at to you and create it in something beautiful. Um, and that is going to be helping you, um, to create financial stability in your world. Okay. So I see a whole lot of you are going to be moving forward, moving forward on a very, very positive, um, that in a very, very positive direction because you have realized that I am, um, releasing 
um, what was holding me back. So new start with relationship, family relationship, all different sort of relationship is going to be coming in. You're going to be losing the emotional pain, the problems, the issues, the situation that you were carrying around, the burdens, and you're going to be letting it go and, and move on on a new start. The last message that we have for you, you are definitely, a lot of you are definitely dealing with the Knight of Pentacles. Now, the Knight, um, in this two ways, it is um, a male or a female between the ages of 18 and 45, okay? So, um, both the um, sun sign, sun rising and the moon rising people or dealing with this night. This is a young person. This is between the ages of 18 and 45. Now, whoever this person is and whatever is happening and transpiring, I see um, a cycle is not yet over with this person. So it could be that uh, um, some of you were in a relationship with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person, and you and this person... You receive some sort of a message from this person and it's as if uh, this person do not want to lose your friendship or do not um, want to lose the connection um, between you and them. And I see you're going to be receiving some sort of a message that is going to be coming in from this person. Now, what is so funny about this is that... Uh, um, this message that is coming in has to do with uh, they're offering you something. They're asking for your forgiveness. They don't want to lose your friendship. They don't want to lose um, the connection between you and them. So if you notice how this is really um, coming up and playing um, out, is that there is some sort of a connection between some of you and a Taurus, Virgo, and a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn between the ages of 18 and 45. That is going to be coming in this full moon. And it could be happening anytime at this four weeks period because four week, full moons at four weeks period. That a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn is going to be offering you something. And it's as if, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for what has happened. I'm sorry for what has transpired here. So they're offering you something and I see this message is coming in offering you something or asking um, for some sort of a forgiveness and an apology for whatever has happened and transpired. And how this is playing out, I see that some of you, it could be that you're returning home and your mom or your mom sent a letter um, and, and, and saying, you know, if you're having such a problem, return home you know you can come and uh, stay with us or some but i see that this is a positive reconnection with someone where someone who is going to be um offering you something and is going to be connecting with you in a positive way and um you know you know really showing you how much they care about you so this is good so um some of you um it, you know a new story is going to be coming up and um, it could be someone offering you a job also. Um, you know, it could be someone saying, hey, we have an opening at uh, um, work. Do you want to come in? Um, I see a lot of positive alignment of energy. And this hurt sign people are going to be helping you guys uh, um, to create some sort of a positive situation. Because whatever the news is coming in from this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn is a very positive news. It's as if... Uh, they are they found something um that was yours and is going to be returning it to you and this is going to be good so i see it is as if an apology a job offer um you know they're asking you to come and collaborate with them that sort of a thing um that is going to be coming in and for you uh moon rising people it is going to be good it is uh, um nothing that is uh, um you know, like a problem. No, it is something that is good. And whatever they're giving you is going to be giving you some sort of a new start. The only um issues and problems that you guys should think about is, uh, um, especially you moon rising people, is that some of you were abused by someone. Someone have abused or used their powers over you. And I see you need to stop worrying and take back your power. 
it doesn't really matter who it is this person has gone their boundaries um with some of you and it, it it really doesn't really matter it is as if you know i think that what you have done was not um in the right uh, in the right way um you have treated me um wrongly and um you need to go and look for some help and let people know and do not be afraid of people who think that they can use their powers over you because if you notice it's very very positive energy this is the only energy where some of you were um you know either falsely accused or um someone used their powers over you where you are afraid to stand up for yourself and you need to stand up for yourself okay so this is really a wonderful full moon that is going to be coming in become a member of the channel as you become a member of the channel um you will be able to connect with us um in a very positive way um as you connect with us you can access um all the extended reading and see exactly what is coming up in for each and every sign in your six houses you can see what is coming up in your financial houses you can see um um what is going to be transpiring a whole lot of you could be receiving some sort of a positive message is going to be coming in um that is going to be helping you to um move you to the next level in your life and this is going to be good so um this is a period of really really positive um news there is no question about it take it run with it and i will speak to you next time please remember to thumbs up thumbs up like and share these videos and i'm saying namaste till next time